Hi guys, welcome back and I hope that you're all doing well. Thank God it's Friday. Hey, the weekend. Yeah. Okay, so this video is going to be about two things. The first one is a request that I got from a another lovely subscriber of mine. I remember the first name is Yvette. Um, so thank you, Yvette. I hope I'm saying your name your name correctly. Um, thank you for the request. Okay, and that request was um, for me to do a video showing how I fill in my brows. And I really don't do much with my brows. I mean, the concealer thing and all that. I don't, you know, do all of that. Um, right now, as you can see, I have some makeup on my face. I try to keep it as simple as possible. But yeah, I am wearing makeup, except as you can tell, my brows are not done and I am not wearing any lipstick on my lips except except for lip balm. That's all I'm wearing on the lips because these are the two things I'm going to talk to you about. Okay, so these are my brows in their natural state. So I'm going to get started with um, filling them in. I have my spoolie, I think that's what you call it, little brush. So there's nothing on my, there isn't anything on my brows. And this is what they look like. I think you can see them. I have to keep the glasses on, otherwise I won't be able to see. <laughs> okay, so this is what the brows look like. In front of me, you can't see it, but in front of me, I have a magnifying mirror. And um, that's what I use when I am um, doing my brows as well as my eye makeup. The rest of the stuff, I can just use a regular mirror um, with my glasses and I can see um, once I have my glasses on. But for the detail work, I like to use my magnifying mirror. So that's what I'm going to use here. It's in front of me. And so if I'm using the magnifying mirror, then I have to take the glasses off. So I am going to use my Anastasia Brow Powder. It's a duo. Uh, let's see. It's in the color Brunette. And I am going to use the the um, the brush that came with this kit. You have a darker brown and a lighter brown. So what I do is I start off with the lighter brown, and I think I don't know if you'll be able, yes, if you can see, the lighter color has much more of a divot in it than the darker color because that's what I use the most. I start off with the, um, the light color, put my brush in there. I will take off my glasses and you are now a blur. And I am going to go in closer to my, um, I think you can see me, is that right? So what I do is, this area here, I just start off really light. I don't really put much in there, as you can see. Um, so that's, I start off like that. And just fill it in lightly. I prefer my brows to look more natural. So I don't um, apply too much dark color. And again, I just dipped my brush in the lighter color. And I go like that and fill it in. 
so that's basically what I do. I don't do a whole lot to my brows. Now, if I feel like I need a little bit of a darker color, I will then dip my brush, just lightly touch the brush in the darker color, and maybe I will uh, apply the darker color like so and just bring the end out a little bit I'm going back into the dark brown and just apply it here Okay, I need to put my glasses on, okay, yeah, that's pretty much it. I have a, a regular mirror to my left, So for the close-up work, I um, use a magnifying mirror. Let me let me see if I can show that to you. That's it there. And I I tend to go in close to the mirror so I can see. It's a I think it's a ten times magnification for people like me. <laughs> um, that need that extra help but yeah this this is it pretty much I mean you know as you can see it's not much that I do sometimes I don't have any wax right now sometimes I like to use a little bit of wax after I do this step I will then go in go in with the wax just to kind of set it but I don't have any wax, so, you know, I just use the brow powder. I could, after this, set it with um, brow gel. I have um, brow gel, but it's not something that I use very often. Most days, this is what I do. looks like it needs a little bit there so yeah I just kind of prefer a, a more natural brow and as you can see this area here is already thick so it just needs um, the lighter color and then the darker color will go anywhere in this area here and to extend the, the end so that's it for filling in my brows Let me see. I already have on my eye makeup as you can see for highlighter, I have my um, Naked Basics. For highlighter, if I wanted to highlight the um, the brow bone a little bit more, I will take um, any shimmer powder, but I'm going to use Venus on the end here. That's a little bit of a shimmer. And I can glam it up a little bit. I'm going to try and do this with my glasses on. Whoop. That's a little bit too much. So hopefully I can correct that. And I didn't bring any more brushes out. I know that this is a little bit different because I'm doing this with my glasses on, but um, I need my glasses.
Yeah, so you, as you can see, I can sometimes this is what I'll do, just fill in, just um, highlight my brow bone. And that's it. It's very simple. I don't, you know, of course I tweeze my brows and I use, um, this top is all over the place. I use those um, little brow razors just to kind of clean up above here because I do get some tiny hairs growing above. So I will clean up that area and I tweeze my brows and that's it. You know. Not a whole lot of maintenance, I think. So that's the brow. I hope that was helpful. Okay, I think we're good. Brush it a little bit. And like I said, you could use wax to um, tame it a little, tame your brows a little bit more if you think you need it. I do that sometimes, or um, brow gel. But most days, this is what I do. All right, so for the lips, I wanted to talk to you about the um, new, I think this is a Maybelline product. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Yeah, Maybelline Color Whisper. And I picked this, um, it's, yeah, a lipstick or lip balm, I'm not sure what it is. But anyway, I picked this up uh, a couple of days ago at my local Walgreens. And so far, um, the videos I have seen, most of the comments I have seen said that the colors are very, uh, they're not very pigmented. It's more of a lip balm. And I do agree with that because I, I've seen a lot of light colors. Um, so what I did was I thought I would go with this color, which seemed to have a little bit more color, to, more pigmentation to it. Of course, is there... Okay, this one is Who Wore It Redder? And guess what? I, I like it. It does feel like a lip balm. It goes on really smooth. And it feels nice on the lips. Um, I like the texture and I will show you um, just how this looks on me. So here, here goes. Bam! I like it. Now, like I said, from what I have seen, a lot of the colors are not very pigmented. They seem to be more of a, a lip balm with maybe a hint of color to it. But I like this one. Now this color is, let me give you a closer swatch, seems to be a pink red. It's not a full-on red, in my opinion. Seems to be, you know, like I said, more of a pinky red. And I think just, you know, for an everyday look. Now I know some of you may not like this much color. So, you know. But, uh, I like it. It feels good on the lips. Now, if I wanted, I don't necessarily have to do this. If I wanted to, I could use a lip liner 
and the closest one I have is this color called Bloom by NYX number 836 I could just make the lips a little bit more defined if I wanted to So anyway, I don't want to make this video too long. I like it. And like I said, um, it's it's the one that's called Who Wore It Redder. And I think I saw this on Chris, Chris, Crystallis 007. Um, she showed this. And when I saw the pigmentation, I was like, you know, this looked like, I, like a color I would like. And so, yeah. I may go back and take another look and see if there is like another pink but maybe not as bright as this one but I think I would prefer, prefer the brighter colors than say the lighter colors then it won't show up on me but yeah I just thought I would show you guys I like it I wore it yesterday and you know what? I forgot to say. This thing left a stain on my lips, okay? For hours later, after the the balmy feel, you know, went away, it left a stain. So, you know, I thought that was pretty interesting. I, di I didn't expect that. That was a surprise. So anyway, that is the new Maybelline Color Whisper. Um, there were... I think I paid like seven dollars and change for this. It wasn't exactly cheap for something that you know from the drugstore. Um, the packaging is kind of cute. It is a little bit smaller than your regular uh, Revlon lip butter, and it feels great on the lips. And I like this color. So anyway, guys, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And Yvette, this is pretty much how I do my brows. I hope that this has been helpful to you and thank you for um, for the request thank you for watching guys I preach appreciate you all and I will see you in the next video bye